hey what's up everyone easy earl here so today we are going to discuss which is better is it gonna be wix or framer so let's begin basically comparing wix and framer is like comparing two different tools serving different purposes but we are here to dive deep into the pros and cons for each platform and how you can take advantage of their functionalities and certain features for different situations all right so moving forward if you have watched some of our videos in our channel about comparison between wix adobe portfolio adobe dreamweaver wix to blogger wix to elementor wix to blue hosting so we suggest you might want to check on that because wix is incredibly user-friendly featuring a drag and drop interface that allows users with no coding experience to create a professionally looking website easily it offers a vast collection of templates across various industries and styles now these templates are customizable allowing users to personalize their websites according to their needs now framer on the other hand is primarily used as a prototyping and design tool for creating interactive prototypes user interfaces and animations it's more focused on advanced design and interaction capabilities framer allows designers and developers to create high fidelity prototypes with complex animations interactions and custom transitions that simulate real world interactions right okay moving forward wix provides extensive design flexibility you can customize layouts fonts colors and more giving you a high level of control over the appearance of your site wix has an app market that offers numerous apps and integrations for additional functionalities such as e-commerce bookings forms analytics and more now these apps can enhance your website's capabilities also framer supports code-based design enabling designers to use javascript to create custom interactions and animations now this can be beneficial for those coding skills looking for more control over design elements framer offers collaboration features that allow teams to work together on prototypes and share designs for feedback and iteration okay time and time again both platforms are not perfect because while wix offers a lot of design flexibility for users seeking highly specialized or intricate design modifications it might have limitations and advanced users might find certain customization options restrictive compared to more open platforms although wix has a vast array of templates once you have chosen a template and started building your site it can be challenging to switch to a different template without rebuilding a significant portion of your website additionally the templates can sometimes feel a bit rigid in terms of layout now framer has a steeper learning curve compared to some other design tools due to its advanced functionalities and code-based approach um, i'm using framer and wix now it might require time for beginners to become proficient so i know this because i'm using framer as well now while framer's code-based approach provides flexibility it might be challenging for designers without coding knowledge to fully utilize its capabilities now compared to more general purpose design tools framer might have fewer pre-built templates and design elements available requiring more design work from scratch now while wix offers e-commerce functionalities it might not be as robust or customizable compared to dedicated e-commerce platforms like shopify or woocommerce and this might be limiting for businesses with extensive online selling needs in some cases websites built on wix might experience lower loading times especially if the site is heavily customized with many plugins or higher resolution images now in terms of designing complex and highly interactive prototypes in framer it sometimes affects performances especially on less powerful devices so you might want to consider that before choosing framer right it's also primarily focused on prototyping and might not be the ideal tool for every design related task such as creating marketing materials or static graphics now 
if you ask me my honest verdict is that if you want to build a website without technical expertise i believe wix, uh, wix is a better choice i've been using it for quite some time and you know what it's really easy right the 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 platform is intuitive user-friendly but in terms of complexity now if you are focused on creating advanced interactive prototypes for complex design framer might be more suitable all right so if you want more information about um framer i suggest you go here at their website framer.com all right to gain more information so you can you know make an informed decision on which of these platforms you are going to use for your specific needs websites or businesses and ultimately choosing between wix and framer depends on your specific needs because we believe both tools excel in their respective areas so the choice ultimately depends on your goals and the specific requirements of your project building a website wix or creating advanced interactive prototypes which is framer and that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching we will see you again in our next video